गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वील स्टार्ट द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर जीरांड एंड पार्टिसिपल दैट यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड लास्ट डे एज वेल एज इन्फिनेटिव सो एक्सरसाइज इन ग्रामर फोर्टी नाइन रेन एंड मार्टिन रेन एंड मार्टिन विल फॉलो सो फर्स्ट लेटर सी वॉट इज रिटन देयर देयर वॉज नथिंग फॉर इट टू फाइट सो टू फाइट इज इन्फिनिटी हेयर ओके दिस इज सिंपल इन्फिनिटिव एंड ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द प्रिपोजिशन बट देयर वॉज नथिंग फॉर इट बट टू फाइट Let us pray. <clears throat> Let us pray. So, what is the infinity here? Pray. It is kept unchanged. Let the mango is fit to it. The mango is fit to it. To it qualifies the adjective fit. <clears throat> Next number four. I heard her. Sing, so here sing is the infinity. I have come to see you. So here, what we have to see, to see, it qualifies the verb. I am going. <coughs> that means I have come to. That means I am going to see you. <coughs> so here I am just giving the answers. When it comes to gerund, I will describe further. i have come to see you the order or the order to advance was given we must work and women must weep so order to advance so to advance is the part uh, infinitive here men must work and women must weep so both the cases must is used so work and weep these two are the infinitives i am sorry to hear this to hear is infinitive here next he is slow to forgive to forgive next one as you can understand was turned to view so it will be to view and fool so come to scoff remain to pray to scoff to scoff next that will be question number 12 thus to relieve the wretched was his price to relieve next one is to blush next one to shoot number 15 to fell the i love to retreat was difficult to retreat and to advance to enjoy to see number 18 number 19 to be lost number 18 is to see and number 19 it is written there was not a moment to be lost so to be lost it qualifies the noun the moment <coughs> number 20 to address 21 to dispute 22 to love 22 it will be to love okay to mankind it cannot be because mankind is not verb number 23 to concrete concentrate number 24 to see 25 i am not afraid to speak the truth to speak better dwell in the midst of alarms better dwell in the midst of alarm so here dwell dwell is verb due to bitter there is no change in it then rain in this horrible place rain then <clears throat> then you hope to count the star to count 29 to toil 22 to toil sorry 29 to toil Point, uh, last one thirty. It is delightful to hear the sound of the sea. It is a penal offence to bribe a public. It is delightful to hear. To hear. <coughs> to bribe. Okay. So to hear and to bribe. These are the two uh, infinitives here. Now, dear children. 
This exercise you will find in Rain and Martin page number 92 for old book. New book it may be in around page number 80 to 110. Within this page you will get new book. And if you follow the old book, okay, then uh, you will find the, you, will, you must search the page number 92. Now exercise in composition, exercise in composition 50. There, what you have to do? Compa compare to uh, combine together the following pairs of sentence by using infinitives. Example: Napoleon was one of the greatest of generals. He is universally acknowledged. Napoleon is universally acknowledged to have been one of the greatest of generals. So, what you have to do? <coughs> you have to combine these sentences. Hope you'll do this one by your own. But keep it in mind. During this process, you may commit wrong, error. Okay, that is accepted. But don't commit a wrong by using, don't commit an error by using and but so. Any other errors will be accepted. So, exercise in composition 50, we have total 21 exercises. Out of this 21, <coughs> out of this 21, what you should do? A section should do 1, 3, Five, that means the odd numbers and B section should go through the even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8 in this way. 10A will go through <coughs> 1, 3, 5 and B will go 2, 4, 6 in this way. <coughs> so we will make a comparative study later. Now next part is participle. Exercise in grammar. Exercise in grammar 51. Pick out the participle in each of the following sentences. Tell whether it is a present or past participle. Generally speaking, we receive what we deserve. So what we have here speaking. This is present participle. And this is impersonal. Having gained truth, keep truth. Having gained, that is perfect participle. Governing the noun, truth. I saw the storm approaching. I saw the storm approaching. Present participle. <clears throat> Attached to the noun storm. Next. Hearing a noise, I turned round. Hearing a noise, I turned round. <clears throat> so here, hearing. That is present participle and that is related to the noun noise. Number five. Considering the facts, he received scant justice. So considering present participle. And it is impersonal in form. Number six. The enemy beaten at every point fled from the field. Beaten past participle qualifying the noun enemy. Being dissatisfied he resigned his position. <coughs> Being dissatisfied he resigned his position. That is number seven. Being dissatisfied that is present participle. Related to the pronoun he. Next. Number 8. The rain came pouring down its torrent. In torrent. Pouring is present participle attached to the verb come. <clears throat> Number 9. Having elected him president, the people gave him their loyal support. So having elected perfect participle related to the topic term him. Last one. The traveller being very sad by the wood, side to rest. Sad by the wood, side to rest. So here, being that is present participle, it is related to the traveller or the noun. <coughs> Next, exercise in grammar 52. And that contains total 11 exercises. So pick out the participle in each of the following sentences. Tell whether it is a present or a past participle and also how it is used. The fat of the body is fuel laid away for use. Number one. So laid is past participle related to the term fuel. Being occupied with important matters he had no leisure to see us. <coughs> Number two. Being occupied that is the present participle related to the pronoun he. Next, the children coming home from school look in at the open door. Number three, 
so here <coughs> coming that is present participle qualifying the noun children number 4 michael bereft of his son luke died of a broken heart so it is bereft that is past participle related to the noun michael number 5 books read in childhood seem like old friend read past participle read 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 past participle qualifying the noun books number 6 lesson learned easily are soon forgotten so here we have the term learned as past participle related to the noun lessons number 7 a word fitly spoken is like angel it is like apple apples of gold in picture in bracket baskets of silver <coughs> number 7 so spoken that is past participle related to the noun word next seeing the sunshine i threw open the window seeing present participle and you can understand it is governing the noun sunshine next seizing him by the arm his friend led him away seizing that is present participle related to the pronoun him and also related to the noun friend <clears throat> ten encouraged by his wife he perceived last one that is the 11th one so till now we have completed a total 10 so what is given in the last one overcome by remorse he determined to atone his crime <clears throat> by liberality to the church liberality to the church so here we have overcome as past participle qualifying the pronoun he so till in this video we have completed this uh, uh, participle as well as our uh, we have completed <coughs> infinitives now in the next one we will complete the jiran part so in the next video what will you do the remaining part of this chapter participle and jiran will complete go through this video finding any difficulty kindly let me know thank you